Good day, students. Welcome to our virtual class in Part 101, Human Resource Management. For today's topic, we're going to discuss job analysis. Here are the table of contents. Analysis. Importance of job analysis. Specific information provided by job analysis. Use of job analysis information. Methods used in job analysis. Steps in conducting job analysis. Writing job description. And writing job specifications. Up first, job analysis. Job analysis is conducted to determine the responsibilities inherent in the position, as well as the qualifications needed to fulfill its responsibilities. It is essential when recruiting. It is an individual having the requisite capabilities and education. In job analysis class again, no, um, atin itong hihimayin, ang ginagawa siya para malaman natin kung ano yung pala yung mga kailangan trabaho or responsibilities na nakapaloob doon sa posisyon na iyon. Another, kinakandak din siya, ina-analyze din yung job para malaman natin kung anong klasing tao o mga kwalifikasyon, mga specification ng taong iyon na kailangan niya para magawa yung more responsibilities na iyon. Another, this is essential when recruiting. Kung kailangan mong maghanap ng mga aplikante para malukit mo ang taong yon or aplikante yon na merong requisite capabilities and education para nga makampana niya yung trabahong gagawin niya. Now, the specific information provided by job analysis should be title and location o yung title o tawag sa trabaho na yon and kung saan siya located. Another is organizational relationship. When we say organizational relationship, this is the brief explanation of the number of persons supervised, if applicable, and job title of the position supervised. It also reflects supervision received. Ibig sabihin, sample, ikaw ay isang manager, no? yung uh, number of persons supervised, I say three. You have three persons because meron ka um, say, um, meron ka mga staff, no? tatlong staff under your department or under your um, section. So that's the organizational relationship because you are supervising three persons. And then, you are being supervised by your general manager, let's say. So ito yung tanatawag na organizational relationship. Binidiscuss dito o ini-explain dito kung ano yung relationship mo with your colleague. Then you have relation to other jobs. This describes and outlines the co coordinated or coordination required by the job. Say you are the manager of the HR department, you are having the coordination with the marketing department, with the finance department. Another is the job summary or the condensed explanation of the content of the job. Or yung um, shortened explanation kung ano yung trabaho ko. And lastly, is the information concerning job requirements. This usually provides information about machines, tools, materials, mental complexity, and attention required, physical demands, and working conditions. It also varies from job to job. Say, for instance, yun na, sinabi natin, manager. So, kailangan ng manager ng computer, kailangan ng mga, niya ng mga specific machines or materials na kailangan para maging effective siya. Another is the uses of job analysis information. So first we have, it is used in preparing the job description, in writing job specification. It is also used in recruitment and selection. Another, it is uh, a key or it is an uh, uh, instrument used in determining the rate of compensation in performance appraisal, in training, it helps also in career planning and development, in safety, and lastly, in labor relations. Now, let's see a detailed example of the job analysis from the People Management Association of the Philippines. So, as you can see, this is a job analysis questionnaire for the rank and file level. 
So, this is what I have said. So, ilagay mo dito yung pangalan mo. No, na incumbent or ibig sabihin nung employee is currently holding the position. And then the title, no, kanin tawag si uh, maglagay tayo ng sample. Tara. Tara maganda yan. Then the position title is say rank and file, no. Um let's see staff, admin staff, administrative administ Creative staff. Ayan. The name of the media superior, kaya niyang bahala kung ano ba yung ilalagay niyo or kung ano yung existing na name ng immediate superior na ng employee na yun. Then, position title of the uh, immediate so, superior, say, oh, Victoria, and then immediate supervisor is general manager. So, anong section, department, location, and date, and so on. So, the general instruction, and dito din, Hindi ko na siya masyadong expound because I uh, will be sending this to you first so you can actually uh, have a good look of this. Then job summary, ito na yung sinasabi ko. So purpose of the job, summarize lang siya. Na accomplished by brief or briefly describe how your job's purpose is accomplished. Then description on the job responsibilities. Dalawa ito, dito enumerate your duties kung nagiragawa mo on the daily or weekly basis. Ito na mas ginagawa mo during monthly quarter, separate semester, and annual basis. And dito yung education attainment mo. These are actually under dito na sinabi ko kanina na information concerning job requirements. Kasi kailangan na yung education. Then experience, then ano pa? Kailangan ba ng no kailangan ba ng 6 months to 1 year or pwede namang walang experience. Then you may also specify specify related jobs required to satisfactorily perform your, the, your present job. Like yung mga previous experience mo na dito uh, i-iterate ko lang related talaga sa job. Okay? Let's say you are an HR manager right now, you had the previous um work as HR staff. Yan. Payroll, so on, sa mga trainings and development, ganyan. Special skills required, if you have some, say, computer literate, ganyan. Complexity of the work, so you check this over as well. Describe difficulty of your work in terms of nature of positions, duties, and responsibilities, and the problem solving analysis required. So, yan, please check one kung ano yung applicable. Say, work involves solving complicated problems with, which require a considerable degree of analysis and problem solving. Creativity and judgment. Yeah. Then physical effort na kinakailangan during sa paggawa mo ng trabaho na yon. So, enumerate daw. Yeah. Lifting, weighing, walking, if you are doing so. Then visual efforts. Yan. Then company property asset na under sa position mo. Say, um, yun nga, mga machines na meron ka, mga tools, mga equipment. Say, meron kang computer, meron kang um, printer, yan, American scanner, and so on. And to what extent are you responsible for the money? So, you say, ano lang, uh, receiving or issuing lang. No, kasi nga, sa rank and file. Kasi pag sinabing approval, ito na yung mga matataas ng position. Then, what damage or lo losses could possibly result to this machinery equipment? So, nature of the damage. Say, overuse, ano ba, probability niya, low lang ba, kung may Kung hindi naman siya madalas mo ginagamit, or kung high, kung madalas mo talaga ginagamit. Approximate amount, paglalagay ka ng approximate amount of that equipment or machinery. Then, records and reports, educate more important reports, or documents that you personally prepare or review. So, ano yung, ano yung document na yon Frequency, kung uh, gano'ng kadalas mo siya ginagawa. Positions which have access, say, uh, mayroong access yung sa HR, mayroong access sa finance, and so on. And then, NC, if it is not confidential, or you just put H, if it is highly confidential, and C, if it is really confidential. Again, it is on the document. Then, consequences or consequence of errors. So, you describe mo din ang errors of the employee might commit no, on the job due to negligence. So, type of possible errors. Yan, say, failure to submit report. Yan, scope of operation. So, within the unit pa, 
or within the department, and so on. Then, probability naman ng pag-occur, say, low lang kasi meron ka namang organized ka naman na tao, nag, may, na may nag-remind or re, may reminder ka naman always sa computer mo or sa phone mo, yan. Or medium or high na talaga, that's very like, um, hindi na talaga, hindi talaga siya ini-encourage na, of course. Kasi nga, this is on the possible error. No. Errors may occur in performance of the job. So just stick also. Sabi, one lang. Then work of others. Describe your responsibility for the work of others. Please check one. So magpili ka lang din dyan. Then working conditions and hazards. Identify the work or areas of the position that are on the average percent of time spent in these areas. So kung saan ka na area, uh, pumupunta. If, if you have other areas you go to, Say, uh, you tend to documents to other departments, to other offices, and so on, to other organizations, ganyan. Then, indicate unpleasant conditions in the work area. Say, it is dusty, kasi malapit ba siya sa ano, uh, sa way, or sa mga kasada, no? kaya may mga dust, no? then mga noise, and so on. So, explain mo talaga yan lahat para alam ng... Um, specialist, HR specialist, or kung sino man ang nag-conduct nito, na kung ano yung titignan, kung ano yung mga relevant things na kailangan i-improve on the job. Because after all, we are analyzing the job. And after that, you need to acknowledge and sign. Then accomplished, employee, questionnaire approved, and image supervisor. And that's it for the job analysis information. Oh. We will be knowing the methods used in job analysis. Yeah. You can actually have job analysis through interview. So, ani, sino yung job incumbent or pag sanabi natin incumbent, this is the person who is currently holding the position o kung sino yung actual occupant ng trabaho na yon, or sino yung gumagawa o nasa position mismo presently. Or you can also conduct analysis through observation. Yan. So, pwede ka nang ding tingnan mo yung mga tao, ano ba yung ginagawa nila, then you can actually analyze the job. But this is not applicable to end to oh, every position. So, say, yung mga physical work, no? yung mga tao nag-work sa, sa factory, kasi nga mahirap naman silang interview and because they are so busy. So, you can actually just observe the nature of their work. And then, the questionnaire. Yung pinakita ko kanina na sample na naka-MS Word. That is the questionnaire. And lastly, you can actually use the employee recording or use of logbook or yung mga nasa 201 file, yung mga credentials ng mga employee. But of course, these are actually confidential, so you need to ask permission from your head. Then, we have the steps in conducting job analysis. First, we need to examine. When we say examine, this examines the total organization and the fit of each job. So, titignan mo ngayon, no, ang, para, ang unang step para makakanda ka ng analysis is for you to know or for you to examine kung fit pa ba, kailangan pa ba yung trabaho na iyon. Another, determine like, the purpose of the job analysis. It determine mo ano ba yung purpose mo, bakit ka nagkanda ka ng job analysis. Another is to select the job to be analyzed kasi hindi na lahat ng analyze mo, depende on the relevance or kailangan pa ba siya or okay naman yung job na yun. Then select or collect data by using tractable job analysis technique. Another, uh, prepare the job description. Later, I'll be showing to you what it is like. Prepare job analysis. And lastly, use information from steps 1 to 6 for job design, planning, selection, and training, recruitment, performance, appraisals, and compensation. These are the steps in conducting job. Now, this is the job description. So, sige, gawa, gawa lang ako ng mga sample na content. But you can actually make your own if you want to have one. Or sa company, this is actually the one na existing. So, ang code, nilagay ko lang HR028. Again, this is just an example. Revision, kasi first time ko lang siya nagawa. Pero, kung ginawa mo na siya, and then there are still things that you need to uh, revise, baguhin. So, you need to have or to put rev1. 
Then the topic title of the position is the professor under the College of Business Administration Education. Job level is rank and file. So ito na yung sa uh, sinabi ko kanina na organizational relationship. So saan siya nagre-report? Dito sa program head. Direct reports, none. Kasi nga, rank and file naman siya. The number of incumbents or currently holding the position are 29. Summary implements effectively academic plans, pl policies, and regulations of the university, complies with the requirements of the approved academic programs, research, and community extension of the college. Now, these are some of the list of major duties or responsibilities to conduct class discussion using various methodologies and so on. Now, in here, uh, please be mindful of this because this is very important. KPI stands for Key Performance Indicators or ito yung mga um, kailangan no, na tinitignan para, um, para sa isang posisyon kung nagawa niya ba ito or effective ba siya. So again, Key Performance Indicator or yung indikasyon para matignan natin if, the, so, or if that incumbent or if that employee is actually performing the job. So paano yun malaman? So through performance evaluation rating, kung mataas ba o mababa. Siyempre kung mataas, ibig sabihin, yung KPI na tinitignan natin is actually positive on the person who is currently doing the job. Attendance, kung madalas, wala ta, uh, always present talaga siya, wala siya mga absences. Then, course assessment rating, ito yung sa actually, since professor, we're talking of the, the faculty or the teacher, so yung assessment ng mismong uh, subject na tinuturuan niya. And for the job specification, these are just few of the uh, qualifications. First, in college, you really need to become or to have master's degree. Another is you have a minimum of one year of teaching experience and with very satisfactory performance. And also, you need to be adept in the use of technologies. And that's it for our topic for today. Now, for your assignment, you need to submit to me in Quiver your um, the, your your lesson or your, your understanding about this topic. Thank you so much again for listening to our virtual class. See you again. God bless.